I know this isn't what the video is about, but but look at what I got. Beautiful. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shining a lot. And I know I said I make this video like three weeks ago in my last video, but I was a bit busy because we had some stuff going on. We were getting housework done, so I haven't really been able to record. But I'm back, and can I talk about Chainsaw Man? Because it's finally back. I first read Chainsaw Man like a year -ish ago, like right before the summer of 2021. So it's been like about a year since I read it and it started back up on Chainsaw Man part two. Uh, three weeks ago, there's been three chapters. It started on July 13th, I think, or the 12th. I'm not sure, but there's been three chapters and all of them have been great. In preparation, I actually went and reread all of part one because it's out physically. So one night I just sat down, blasted through like six volumes in one sitting and then finished the others later. And I, I love this series, dude. This series is so good. This, this reread really just solidified it in my top 10 for me. The artwork, the writing, the characters, everything about this series is just so incredible. Um, but that's not, what this video is really about. So get on Chainsaw Man if you haven't because it's great and reading this weekly is so fun. Anyway, about part two. Part two is amazing so far in my opinion. It mainly is focusing on a new main character named Asa Mitaka. Um, and Denji is not back yet. Um, hopefully he'll come back. I'll get to that later because I, I have a theory that other people also believe in, but I am a very strong believer. She had a class pet of the chicken devil, rest in peace Bucky, and then she accidentally killed it, and then this other person in her class turned into like this other devil, and then she died, but then her body got taken over by the war devil, and she became the war fiend, and the war fiend wants to go to Chainsaw Man to make him like throw up nuclear weapons or whatever because those were one of the things he ate that the world forgot really. So I'm really excited for whenever Chancellor Man and Asa have a confrontation. I think that'll be such a good fight. And also Yoshida is back, which is cool. Um, I forgot he existed until my reread really. So that's good. Hopefully he'll play a more central role in this part. Cause I do think he is really cool. His fight with Quan Chi in part one was really cool too. So he's a really cool character. I hope he gets a really big spotlight in this part. And one thing I do really like in this part is both Asa and the War Devil have like, like they like share one body, so it's like a split personality kind of. And I like seeing like the like difference between the two when they switch between each other. I think it's just really funny. And then one more thing, because I just think this theory, I believe it, um, but I believe that the girl Yuko. I believe that that is Denji in disguise. And you might be thinking, why do you think that? Well, in the first panel that she's in, she says, nice to meet your partners. And I think that's a really Denji thing to say. Like, come on. But then more convincingly, in chapter three of part two, when they're walking throughout the school, um, uh, Yuko is holding this like axe and it looks a lot like the axe that Denji was using when him and Power were going to fight Kishibe. So I think that actually holds a more ground, but I don't know, could just be Fujimoto. That being said, whether it is Denji or not, I'm really excited for whatever he makes his return. That's gonna be such a cool moment and I can't wait. So that's gonna do it for this video. Sorry it's a little shorter than my other videos, but I just really wanted to talk about Chainsaw Man because I love that series. If there's anything else you guys wanna see from me in the future, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.